All right, what is up, YouTube? This is my first little vlog on my commentary. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. It is 4:54 a.m. Sitting with my teammates. I hate. Yeah, this guy's extra. He's hella weird. But um, anyways. Oh my god! If you guys can see, Burns making his YouTube video over there. He's farting been the literally up. farting, destroying the his pants are like there's a big hole on the bottom of the seat. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the YouTube video. I'll see you guys later. Alright, what is up YouTube? Back with another commentary. Um, this is a late night ramble. I'm literally just talking about everything and anything. Um, that's what I do on late night ramble. I really don't have a topic. I don't come in here thinking certain things. You know, I just talk to you guys, you know? Um, honestly, I haven't uploaded a video in two days. Um, I really, really do apologize about that. Uh, this is just a match, you know, playing complexity. Uh, I think two days ago, three days ago, whatever, in a league match. And um, like I said, I do apologize about not uploading video and YouTube content for you guys. I really do take pride in it and uh, just take pride in your guys' interactions and speaking to you guys. You know, I found that I find that really really cool. And um, honestly, it's just about my uh, about our league. You know, I was thinking about our league, and we're four and six in the league, or the season, or MLG season, or if you guys do pay attention to it, we're four and six in our in a record, which is barely top eight, which is still championship bracket. Um, but you know, we're barely top eight, and it's. It's honestly, it sucks. Um, we should be so much higher. And I'm not just saying we should be so much higher. I'm saying we could be. We easily could be. We go literally 5-6 and lose to every single team last map. And we, I think we played the most games in the actual like league. Um, I'm talking about we went to 5-6 with Justice. Um, and literally we choked games before that. So we could have won 3-0. I'm pretty sure that won. We could have won 3-0. Um, against Curse Black, we could have won 1-3-0. We could have won another one 3-2. Um, we've just been choking. Um, you lost literally 5-6 last map. I can say think of the only team that legitimately beat us where I could just be like, damn, they beat us. Like, we had nothing we could do about it. Like, there was nothing. It was Vex. It was surprising because they they, at the time, they weren't that high on the leaderboards. And I know any team can do anything at any time. That's why you never count somebody out. Even uh, Justice, I know they have a record, which is 1-9 at, at the moment. But they could be really dominant. They could, they, who knows? For all you know, they, they might just click and take over the league but um anyways th that's the, that's the thing like once we, i feel like that's what we need we need to have that one day where we just click we all work together a as a team that's one thing that i feel like we we lack because we haven't teamed we've teamed together for like a week and a half now and um even with all the moving stuff and all the times where we didn't have xbox 360s and just just moving in in general it was just a big hassle so um we just literally we had so many things we had to worry about we had a lot of things we had to worry about so we ha we haven't been scrimming all that much i mean now we're on the grind obviously this past week we've been on the grind but uh just with an event so close it's kind of like it's kind of weird and it's just in its own aspect you know i've never had to deal with this or team house and going through all the little bs and it's it's honestly it's a very big opportunity like i've said before but it's just something i'm not i've never been used to so this is literally i've gone to almost every single event i've been to other than my first event which was mlg dallas and uh and mlg columbus my two mlg events i went to um other than that i've been going with literally last minute teams um there's been roster changes right before just some stuff like that so i've always had last minute teams so um at, at the moment i'm kind of just like yo whatever happens at niagara happens i'm hoping for the best um I don't have any really crazy high expectations. Not crazy high expectations. So obviously, I'm I want a championship. That's that's my first thing. But I'm not gonna say if we get a top eight or anything like that. Like I wouldn't be disappointed. I would not be disappointed. My main goal at the moment is uh, Anaheim. That is the main focus. Going doing really good in league matches and uh, just playing really well. That's all all I'm worried about. Once we do that and we get top eight, all we have to do is worry about grinding the game to get that to Niagara. Um, I, I honestly I know. I know playing at Niagara is a really big event and all that. It's not a local land or anything, but um, my biggest focus is just it's it's Anaheim, to be honest. That's Anaheim. We have to do good in the season. It just opens up so many opportunities. And there's so many opportunities that are coming into esports, and it's growing so quick and so fast. That's the main reason I am still in it, because I have faith that it could grow so, to be so much bigger. Honestly, we have a big announcement. By the time this video is out, you should probably already know it. 
Um, but there's just going to be big events, and the game's going to be so much bigger from at least what I've heard. I know I've heard so many things about Call of Duty uh, and esports growing so much, and you hear you hear it so many times, but you never know. You never know when it's going to grow up, when it's going to grow, or when it's going to die, or literally, I, who knows? For all I know, there could be no Call of Duty next year. I know they're saying there's going to be, and it's already confirmed and all that, but for all we know, they could just say, yo, we don't feel like releasing a game, for all I know. But um, anyways... I, I honestly I hope you guys enjoyed my video I know I'm just rambling and talking about literally nothing and uh, honestly you guys support really does mean a lot to me you guys interactions and even you guys tweeting me about my videos and leaving comments I, I love when you guys leave comments in the comment section I usually try to respond to all my comments and talk to you guys because it's really it's really cool because I'm not used to talking to every single one of my fans and supporters and stuff like that and interacting with you guys so I really do appreciate it and you guys that share my videos I really, really do appreciate you guys that share my videos. I don't care if you have one Twitter follower or a, or a thousand. It, it, everything, everything helps. Every single thing helps. But you guys are the best, man. I'll, I'll talk to you later in another video. Peace.